Hi, Seabreeze Bruce here, back with another Distance Incremental video, episode 23. And you can see I've actually done a bunch of stuff off camera. It's not really all that. I mean, I yeah, I, I, I got some prion upgrades, so I can grind prions, and this is why I now have 89 prions. I also have a lot of strings. I don't think it's that many. And I know I know there's a yeah, I can go into bosons, and there's a whole bunch of stuff I can do here. I can I can get these upgrades, which I don't I don't think that's all that important. However, I can get more theory points, and that's 30 free theory points. I'll definitely take that. And then I'm all, I, I guess I can also get these upgrades. It's not really all that much I can even get, but I can get them. And now I have a few more theory points, and I'm going to reset this. I have a total of 1350 theory points, and this is, yeah, I, I can do this, and this will allow me to get a whole bunch of theoretical boosters. Now I have even more theory points. It's, well, it's still not enough to get the next one of these upgrades, but it is 1530 theory points. So what can I do with that? I don't, the problem is this is 2000, so I can't really... Do, like if I wanted, so yeah, I, I've been grinding a lot of hadrons. That that's really what I've been doing, and I'm not exactly sure what to go for. I could try to go for actually theory verse. So what if I what? I'm very close to inflations. Um, I just I just need 70, and I think this would give me 128. So if I can just do that, that will allow me to unlock inflations. So this is yeah, I'm probably gonna want at least this. I'm gonna want at least these many up this many upgrades. This is a lot, so I'm I'm not gonna do that. I'm I'm gonna get this instead. Like get the cadaver one. Um I guess I can get this miscellaneous. Um there's also the Pantheon stuff. I don't really think I need it. Probably probably should actually focus on the Pantheon for once. Like I don't think I've elementary. Um, actually, no, I have elementary. Okay, whatever. I, I'm, I'm just gonna get the fourth upgrade here, just because. And I'll, I'll get this, I'll get, is there anything? I don't really want that. I, I'll get this instead. Um, I guess I probably want a few of these upgrades. To the point where it's just me choosing between these upgrades. And hopefully this is a good theory verse run. I'm gonna assume this will be a decent theory for. Let, let's let's see if I can do this. Hopefully I can. Um, you can just see it's going. Hopefully is it? Is it what is it even resetting? It's, I don't even know what it's resetting. Oh man, I, mean, I haven't even unlocked derivatives yet. That's not good. I'm not even close. Okay, I'm just gonna give up here. I actually have enough to get this upgrade. And actually that, yeah, that's actually enough to get me all the way to inflation. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to um, export because possibly this is not the best decision to unlock it right away. I'm also in Theoryverse. I'll just exit that. And, okay, unlock inflations. Hopefully this is good because, well, it's inflation, so I'm going to assume that it's going to be OP. It's making all theory tree upgrades 2.6 times stronger. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I'm not exactly sure what this inflated means. Is this like some sort of exponential formula? I have no idea. Actually, it's it seems like um oh, it's 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 about the gain of this oh man, it's deflating. I did not know it deflates. Um okay. Interesting. I guess this I guess this is more like a sine wave sort of thing. And I'm already getting theory points back. I'm not even sure how. Like I'm not even I, I don't even have any upgrades. I guess I there's this. Um which are they're cheaper. Is that oh um oh they're, they're it's not making them more powerful, it's making them cheaper. And then it's also giving each Hadrian effect more Theory points. So yeah, this definitely was the right decision to make. And if I can get this, yes, that does give me a ton more theory points. 
I'm not even sure what to do because yeah, this is a ton. And yeah, I'm just gonna get this. I don't even think that's very good. Um, yeah, I'm not even getting that many hadrons. It's 13 per second. I don't really want 13 per second. I'm not even sure what this whole deflated means, but I guess that's what to do. I could try to do something with strings at this point. Yeah, I'll, I'll do something with strings because these are, yeah, the, the upgrades are way cheaper. Like, I can actually get two of all of these. I can get, I can get three of all of them. The fourth ones are extremely expensive, though. I could get entangled strings. I'll probably just get some general upgrades. I have so many theory points at this point that I can just go crazy. I can get all ten of these. I can get all of these. And I'm not even sure what else. Like I'm, I'm just going for strings here. And like I can do so much. Maybe, maybe I can do something with supersymmetry as well. Like I can get all of these upgrades. Um, I can get several of these, just a couple of these upgrades. Um, yeah, just, I guess just keep getting this because, um, yeah, this is going to allow me to get a decent amount more of all of these particles. And this is still deflating for some reason. I'm not sure what causes it to inflate or deflate. Um, but, yeah. I, now I think maybe I can try to go for a more general build or something because, or actually no, not, not a general build yet. Maybe I can now go for entangled strings because I feel like this is going to 600 times, 6,000 to, yep, this is OP. I can even get the next upgrade of this, oh my god, and then just get all of these. I can just hold enter and get almost all 40. This allows me to get go from gigameters to light years. Is it gigameters just millions of kilometers? Yeah, this is this is OP. I can now get all the way to, to dozens or hundreds of light years of of strings. So yeah, I feel like I'm already gaining way more out of strings than ever before, just from string entanglement and. Now, I don't even think I need to grind all that much more with this because now I can I can go back here. I can go back into just getting three of everything with the strings. And then and just like doing this. This is way more powerful than before. Now I can reset and put everything into supersymmetry. And just get as many of these upgrades as possible. And then get as many of these as possible. And this allows me to, yeah, that's it's actually less powerful than I thought, but it's at least something. I could try to go back in the theory verse at this point, just because everything's OP. So get all five of these, get all of these upgrades, get this, get this, get a couple of these upgrades, get, I guess, up to this, up to the fifth one here, and... Then just get some general stuff like this. Um, get a couple of these upgrades. I could get a couple of Pantheon upgrades, but I don't even think I need that all that much. Just get get some of these. That's all I really need at this point. And I'm going to enter the theory verse. And boom, I can actually do it this time. So I'm I'm gonna try that. I actually got a couple of achievements. Um, impossible reach the complete theory verse at depth eight, and then there's something else that I also got. I'm not even sure what it is, but it's something. It says do an maybe it's this do an elementary reset without any derivative boosts. Um, I could try the theory verse again, but and then I can just like put a couple more things into some random upgrades here, like this and this. Let's see if this is gonna do anything. I know, I can't even unlock derivatives, so I don't think I, I should use the three verse anytime soon. Instead, I could try to go for, I could try to go back into, like, prions. Um, I can get, I can get 80 of 90 upgrades, which is pretty good, but it's only giving me, like, a million prions every second. I think a better idea is to try to get as many of these upgrades as possible. I can get, yeah, I can get a lot of them. And this allows me to get 
one, only one more theoretical booster, but it, at least it's something. And no, I can't, I can't quite get the last upgrade there. So what do I, what do I want now? Like accelerons, I don't really. I mean, I guess I can just go max into it just because it does something. It just makes my perk accelerators get weakened. I probably should actually look at what the next mechanic when I'm going to unlock the next mechanic. It's quantum foam, and I need. 2e, 4e, 7 universes. How close can I even get to it? Because I feel like I'm actually pretty close at this point. If I just get all of these, this, this, um, get cadavers, get all of these, and then a few of these, just get like five. Um, I can try to, um, do a little bit of Pantheon stuff. I've completely ignored the Pantheon. Um, yeah, that's probably why. I'm getting like no purge power out of it. And the Heavenly Chips and Demonic Souls are, their boosts are like minuscule. So I don't, I'm thinking there's not a lot of stuff to even get. Because like Graviton Boost, this is just elementary. This is um, elementary particle gain. I don't really need any of that. This is useless. Um, these are useless at this point. Um, don't really need anything with entangled strings. I guess I can just get Pantheon stuff and a few of these upgrades, and this will... Let's see, I'm actually up to 73%, and I haven't even done anything with Hadronic Challenge. Like, I feel like with this build, it's enough to... Um, I don't know why these are... In a oh, these... Oh, I thought they were in italics. There's a weird animation. I guess I can try to do something. Like, what if I what if I just put an extra zero in this and um, just to s just see how far I can get? Not far. Not far. What if I just like disable pathogen upgrade? Do nothing. There's also all of this. <laughs> Maybe we can try this just to see if I can do anything. Um, no, I, I, I don't think I can, I don't think I'm going to get anything useful out of this. Um, maybe I can just, what if I like just get a couple of, of these challenges going and, well, assuming, looking at this, yeah, I don't think I can, I can do that. So what if I just like disable all of this and just do something here, like, I could be trapped in the theory verse in exchange for, like, I, I guess what I can do here is I can go back to the theory tree and get as many of these upgrades as possible. And being trapped in the theory verse, and I'm just gonna do level one here and see what I can possibly do. Um, yeah, that's not that much. I I can only get up to like e eight hundred. That's the problem. I'm going to do E880, and I'm not even sure if I can reach that. Um, yeah, I, I can reach that, but yeah, look at the score. It goes from 0.45 to 0.49. That's a very minuscule boost. What if I just, like, disable all of these, but then just try to go crazy with this? Uh, uh, this score is not even high. I don't know what I I should be doing. I mean, I can do it, but what if I what if I put a couple more zeros in? That still does almost nothing. Yeah, hydraulic challenge is very weird, but I can do it. Maybe I want to actually go into three verse two because this gives a huge boost to my expected hydronic score. And easy, so that's decent. This still, this hydronic score barely does anything, though. Like, even at the super high Fury Verse level, it gets up to like three, and it's like a linear boost to your Hadrons per second. Not exponential; it's linear. I guess I'm, I'm just gonna keep going up here with with the Fury Verse levels because it seems like. This is a way I can gain a lot of Hadronic score. 
I can even do it at three verse five. So, do do I'm I'm gonna try seven. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep upping the three verse level because I seem to be doing very good with this sort of thing. Okay, I can't do it at three verse seven. That's that's pretty obvious. And maybe I can just like try to go a little lower here. And I can get, if I can do this, I can get a hadronic score of over 1.8. And I think that's pretty good. That's what I'm going to hope. No, I can't really do this. Seems like the highest theory verse level I can, I can do in these is 5. But what if I just... Oh, this does nothing to my hadronic score. Man, that really... I thought this was going to do a lot. It did not. Um, but maybe th this went down for some reason. Maybe what I should do... What about this? If I can do that, and then just lower this down to E1... Oh, okay. Oh, uh, man. What if I can do this? E1 million? With these upgrades? What With, with these conditions? Uh, is, is this promising? Yes, it is. Oh, nope. It said 100% complete, so I can do that. That is something easy. What about this? Yes, I can even do that. So, can I try this? Uh, it seems a little bit crazy. Um, what about this? Uh, I know. I, I have no idea what to, what to try next. I'm gonna try this just to see if I can do anything with it. No, I can't. It's definitely the, the, the you cannot gain cadavers. I'm gonna bump this skull up and see if I can do anything with this. No, I can't. I'm about 56%. So that this means what I should probably do is something around something like this. And this should be beatable, and this will give me a hadronic score of 2.44, which is going to allow me to get more hadrons, or at least a decent amount more hadrons. Like, this goes up to a default of 0.38. I mean, I got uh, an achievement, useless theories. It's um, all theory tree upgrades are cheaper based on your best hadronic score. Ooh, that's actually really good. Because if, I'm not sure how much how powerful this would be, but if it is powerful, it could be huge. So if I if I go here, I know this is 250 normally. This is 57, and inflations are only only like this. So this seems like it's really good. Yeah, it seems like a really good upgrade, and I can do a lot more with this. Like I could get all of this. And yeah, I I got even more theory points with that. Yeah, this is this is the right choice to make because now I can get I'm getting so many theory points out of this that it's it's ridiculous. You, you can just see my theory points go up like crazy. I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this and try to grind prions. And yes, I can get 83 of these upgrades. Doing this allows me to get about 1.7 million per second. And actually, if I just keep waiting, I can keep getting more of these all the way until 90. And doing this will... I mean, if I wait a day with this, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait a day with this because I really don't think I can reach Quantum Foam yet. And it would be better just to grind this. Because doing this allows me to gain... This is 2 million... Pre prions every second. This would allow me to gain a bunch more orders of magnitude of prions. And, like, or, okay, a bunch, what I mean by a bunch is I mean up to at least 1.5 E11 in a single day. And actually, now it's maxed, so I guess I can even start buying these upgrades because why not? Like, why not see if I can get anything? Okay, okay, that, that's not very. Good, but doing this along with grinding hadrons will give me an insane amount of 
of theory points, and hopefully that's going to be enough to unlock quantum foam. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm-hmm.